Vi har gett 10 norska amerikanere chansen till att komma till Norge och få möta sin norske familie. Men först må de visa sig värdige till att bli kallt norrmän. Welcome to Norway. Hver uke konkurrerer de om å mestre den norske tilværelsen. This place is absolutely amazing. En etter en må deltakerne reise hjem. I want to see this thing through. I want to meet my family. Til slutt står vi igjen med den som kan kalle seg den ekte nordmannen, og som dermed får møte sin norske slekt. Til nå har amerikanerne måttet takle feiring av 17. mai, og levd som norske bønder. Vi har kjempet som vikinger, og forrige uke røk Signe ut, fordi hun var den som takket det norske hyttelivet dårligst. I know you gotta hang in there, Maya. Nå venter den største utfordringen så langt. Holy crap, I'm attached! Denne uken skal de bevise at de kan gå i Nansen og Amundsens fotspor. Svalbard har officielt brøket meg. Og leve livet som ekte norske fotdagere. from Alexandria, Minnesota. Alexandria is home to Big Ole, the biggest Viking in all of America. I enjoy Nordic skiing, which I understand is the national sport of Norway. I stepped out of the airplane, it was a little bit of a shock because we really, really don't have anything like it in Texas. I think this place is incredible. It's cold! <laughs> it's cold. To be out here and to find out what the next competition is, that's going to be the great adventure. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get one of these bad boys. My biggest wish for this trip is to go hunting, and I don't know if you guys are crazy enough to let me have a gun and go kill a polar bear, but that would be cool. My name is Clint Admire. I'm 26 years old. Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. I've been a resident here a majority of my life and think it's the greatest place in the world. Det er nå kun seks deltakere igjen i Alt for Norge, og konkurransen om å møte sin norske familie begynner å tilspisse seg. Hvem vil ha en dipp i fjorden i dag? Jeg er ikke ferdig til å leve kompetisjonen. Jeg vil se mer av Norge. Jeg vil love å møte min norske familie. Og jo lenger det går, jo bedre jeg føler om mine sjanser. Jeg tror at jeg nå begynner å tenke at jeg faktisk kan se meg selv å vinne dette.
So this is nuts. This is amazing. Hey guys, look. Yeah. I think we're doing some skiing. I see some skis over Excellent. there. Excellent. Welcome to Svalbard. Yeah. Today, you're gonna follow the footsteps of famous Norwegians like Irwell Amundsen and Fritjof Nansen. So please welcome a famous Norwegian polar explorer, Monika Christensen Solas. Hello, Hello you guys. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> Monika here, she has explored both Arctic and the Antarctic and she's a glaciologist and also a scientist. Today you'll really be put to the test. And at the end of this trip, five of you can proudly call yourselves true Norwegian adventurers. Norges første oppdagelsesreisende het Leif Eriksson. Han oppdaget Amerika hele 500 år før Kristoffer Columbus. Utenom dette, kanskje med unntak av Thor Heira, har stort sett norske oppdagere konsentrert seg om å utforske områdene rundt Syd- og Nordpolen. Nansen og Amundsen var pionerene, men mange nordmenn har fulgt i deres fotspor. En av disse er Monika Kristensen Solås, som i dag skal sende våre seks gjenværende amerikanere ut over Svalbardisen. As you probably know, Norwegians are extremely proud of our explorers. Uh, now we're not going to send you to the North Pole, but <laughs> somewhere on this mountain there is a, a big mound of snow, and on top of that uh, hill there is a pole, which we have named the North Pole. <laughs> All right. Okay, today's teams are Team A, Maya, Matthew, and Doug. That means Team B is uh, Grant, <laughs> Joseph, and Clinton. And Clinton, you won the Norwegian Spirit Award last week, so you are safe. But remember that your effort could keep your whole team safe, so you have to do your best. Yes, ma'am. Good. Well, you have obviously seen that you're going on skis, so we can do a little bit of training before we send you off into the white wilderness of Svalbard here. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Holy crap, the I'm attached. I know, you're ready to take a attack. No, that means I'm ready to just go. <laughs> I would rather lay on the beach in Florida and get a tan than come up to the North Pole and learn how to ski and be eaten by polar bears, possibly. <laughs> no, 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 go on, I'm good. Me and Clint, people have never been cross country skiing, and then we got a 53 year old man. I was like, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a long day, fellas. It could be. You know, me and snow, just, we don't mesh well. I'm from Texas, I don't do this stuff. Oh! But uh, I think for my first time, I think I did okay. It could have been much worse, I think. So I was just a little proud of myself. I am Norwegian. Ah, I yes. found my Norwegian <laughs> yes, roots. Yes, very good. <laughs> Great, oh yeah. <laughs> De to lagene skal gå hver sin rute frem til polpunktet. Løypene er like lange og med samme vanskelighetsgrad. Når de kommer frem, må de sette opp et telt som de skal overnatte i, og først når teltet er oppe, stopper klokken. Det laget som er ferdig først får et forsprang når lagene i morgen skal gå tilbake til startpunktet. Det laget som først er tilbake til start er vinneren. Hvor går jeg? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Clint and Joe seem like they're a bit awkward on skis, so I'm not really worried about the other team. I think we're gonna come out on top on this one. I'm not ready to go home. Norway is the most beautiful place I've ever seen, and I would also like to see my family. Okay. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Thank you. 
På lag B har Grant tatt ansvaret for kart og kompass, mens Matthew tar føringen og skal lede sitt lag. Actually, I feel much better than I really anticipated ever being on skis. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm not used to just being graceful and having the wind blowing my hair. And actually, I think we're going to kick some ass today. It had always had been a dream of mine to, to cross country ski in Norway. I just never dreamed it would be under these conditions. This is just utterly crazy. Volcanic Peak, so this is right there, in there. Go ahead. Lag B går ut i helt riktig retning og finner den første pålen uten problemer. Oh, yeah. På lag A har Matthew bommet med kompasskursen, og de har gått langt forbi første pålet. I think it's further back that way. I think we're further down here. I think we should probably go back. Yeah. Maya, don't come any closer. Go, stop there, Maya. For okay, now, keep you, coming. She can't hear. Yeah, we went way off course. I felt really bad because I was kind of self-appointed as the navigator and the scout going ahead. And I was pretty, pretty disappointed when we realized how far off course we were at the beginning. But if you guys want to, you know, huck some blame around, um, it's not about blame hucking, it's about getting the job done. How can you be hucking blame before we're even done? You don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they were well, so wobbly on those skis, maybe they fall down every 10 feet. Maybe they went wrong on the compass, maybe. we don't know. Lag B har også fått problemer. Etter første påle har de staket ut feil kurs, og er på vei bort fra påle 2. Grant! You see anything? I don't see anything, no! Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, it, you'd think it'd be right on this ridge out here somewhere. Yeah, we've come too far. Does anybody see the gas station we can stop and ask for directions? Clinton begins to feel the slit on his body. Hey, Clay, we're having a little meeting over here. Come on up. So you think we passed it? Yeah, we might have, but... <sighs> Timber. Oh. Oh. That first peak lined up, you're right. But everything thereafter has been a clusterfuck. And I need to watch my mouth. Swearing in front of the pastor. Pastor? Yes. <laughs> I think. You're forgiving, my son. <laughs> wow, that didn't, well, that was, I didn't mean that. That was pretty easy. <laughs> I knew what you were thinking. Lag A har funnit ut hvor de er, og har funnit den riktige kursen til første påle. Once we figured out that we were going the wrong direction, we had to go back, and it was a long ass track back to that pole. I mean, it kind of demoralized us. It actually brought all of our spirits way down because we were so off course. Skiing's great. It's finding pylons. It's a little tricky. Keep pushing. That's just all I can give. <laughs> Endelig finner lag av første påle, og staker raskt ut kursen mot den neste. Yes, let's head towards that cloud. How are you doing, Maya? Yeah. Good. Just, are we going the right way this time? <laughs> we'll find out when we head that way. This is hard work. Yeah. How do you think? Cross more before we Cross go up the ridge? More. This week, I was definitely the slowest one on the team. And I feel bad for Grant, because Grant's so good. And I was having the, the darndest time just, just trying to make it. Hey, guys. We go see it. OK, great, Joe. Flynn had never been on skis in his life and had never been in snow before, so uh, he was really out of his element. So we did everything we could to kind of cheer him on, try to teach him, encourage him. Yeah, just follow my trail, Clint. We're headed right toward it. Come on. Lag B has found the other pole and has only the last little bit in the pole point again. And Lag A is right back.
As our team was coming up to the end, we came across this big group of reindeer. I mean, just kind of out of the blue, you look up and there's this big herd. It was kind of like a spirit lifting thing to see that. Det er bare innspurten igjen, og begge lagene nærmer seg Polen. It's over here! Good job, Maya. Yeah. Hey, we're here and nobody else is. Joe, it looks like they beat us. Det haster med å sette opp teltet. Det laget som får teltet opp først, får et forsprang på tilbaketuren i morgen. Go back and get clean of hand. Check your pack. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, Lag A fikk satt opp teltet 12 minutter før lag B, og får dermed et 12 minutters forsprang på tilbaketuren i morgen. Jeg trodde dere ble oss her for sikkert. Vår første pilon vi tok opp i den helt riktig direksjonen. Vi er oppe med 300-400 grader, men etter at du går og går og går, vi var så far til den sør. Vi kunne ikke finne vei tilbake. Jeg vet ikke om Clinton er det årsaken. Du kan si at jeg var den ene. Jeg gikk og gikk til den. the post and I'm the one who charted the course I charted her wrong so if, if I hadn't done that I think we would have been very close to being at the campsite in fact we might even have beaten them if it weren't for that because we really got lost look it's after midnight for the sun's up because it's Isbjørn on Svalbard må en deltager fra hvert lag holde vakt når de andre går og legger seg og de første to ut er Clinton og Matthew. Good night, Clinton. Good night, Maya. Good night. Sleep well. I'll wake you up in two hours. Yeah. I got some water. Can we hold it? Warm, warm, warm. Some tea. Oh, that's perfect. But I got something even better. It's better than hot. <laughs> What, did you seriously bring that all the way out here? What keeps you warmer than whiskey? The spooning and whiskey? <laughs> I like you and all, but I'd rather have the whiskey. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good sound. Oh. I'm in feet of snow here, like next to the North Pole. And uh, uh, in one hand, I have a, a bottle of whiskey, and in the other, I've got a gun. Does it get any better than that? Hey, Clint. Yeah, what's up? What are you writing about? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? Actually, I'm writing about how I hate snow, I hate the cold weather, but this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Amen. Amen. I don't think I'll ever get any further north than this, man. It's incredible. In between, uh, watches last night, I had a few minutes, and uh, 
I got to write in uh, my diary, which is very important to me. I, I started doing it a couple years ago because I travel a lot. It's like writing a letter to my wife every single day and you know, I write little blurps in there about how much fun I'm having or I miss you or I wish you were here and all that mushy stuff. Etter pausen får du se mer av dette. I was kind of hoping Maya would be able to kick it in another gear. She has no other gear. Good dogs! Being here is definitely an adventure. Svalbard has officially broken me. så vi at amerikanerne kappgikk på ski over Svalbardisen. Keep pushing. Det er så fra det kan give. Lag A kom knepen foran lag B til stedet de skulle overnatte. It looks like they beat us. Og nå skal det avgjøres hvem som vinner konkurransen. I was kind of hoping Maya would be able to kick it in another gear. She has no other gear. Det er grytil i morgen på Svalbard, og amerikanerne har overlevd en natt ute i telt. Midnattsol, isbjørnvakter og kulle har gjort natten kort, og deltakerne er trøtte og slitne. Morning, guys. I got Good morning. Uh, I'm really, really tired today. I didn't sleep at all, and I'm really cold. I'm ready to be warm. I didn't sleep an ounce of a second overnight. Uncomfortable, bright, loud, People drinking outside the cabin couldn't, I just didn't drink at all. Uh, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm a little cold, very sore. I'm just so tired. I'm like a walking delirium right now. I'm good. Oh, wait. I feel like a champ. Yeah. You probably use some more whiskey, actually. Deltakerne ble i går delt inn i to lag, og gikk på ski til et punkt kalt Nordpolen. Matt, Doug og Maya kom frem og fikk slått opp teltet først. De får i dag et 12 minutters forsprang på Clinton, Joe og Grant når de skal gå tilbake til startpunktet. Hi! Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How did you guys sleep? Okay. It was a bit short. Probably two hours of sleep. Yeah. Now it's time to finish this race. And uh, team A, you'll get a 12 minute head start. All right. So, good luck. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set, go. And you guys, you'll have to wait for my signal. Når klokken starter, må lagene ta på seg sekken, spenne på seg skiene og legge ut på den fem kilometer lange turen til målet. Good luck. I uh, watched the other team leave and having to wait 12 minutes, it really sucked. It seemed like the longest 12 minutes of my life. loaded up. It seemed like we got our gear packed up and, and on our backs and we're on, on the snow a lot quicker than they were. I just have this crazy motivation today. It was really hard because we were all so tired because none of us slept very well. And me being a competitor and Matt as well, I was kind of hoping Maya would be able to kick it in another gear. Oh, stretch team! She has no other gear. It's just the one speed, and we just kept saying, you need to pick it up, they're going to gain on us. Hey, you guys are great today. Where you go, Clint? On the way back, they seem to take a longer route to the finish. Lag A velger en litt lengre rute enn lag B, så avstanden mellom lagene krymper. I put in some really hard work, and we're going to be screaming across the finish line. Yeah. 
Svalbard has officially broken me. I was so physically, mentally, emotionally, everything drained that I just wanted to kill everything and everyone in sight. It was honestly the hardest thing I've ever done and it broke me, but I made it through and I'm so happy that I was able to make it through. Come on, Grant, come on, Joe! 12 minutes is 12 minutes and uh, we just couldn't quite make it up today. I feel really bad that we, we lost because I was definitely the slowest one on the team, but in the same sense, uh, I, I don't think I could have had the immunity ward at a better time. Excellent, very well done. You've done a marvelous job and you've shown yourself as true Norwegian explorers. And the winner is Team A. Congratulations. Losing team, in a couple of hours, you'll have to compete for yet another tough challenge. Okay. And Clinton, since you won the Norwegian Spirit Award last week, you won't have to compete this time. Okay. So. Me and me, buddy. <laughs> Joe and Grant. <laughs> Joe and I uh, have kind of paled along this trip. Uh, we've, we've gotten to know each other pretty well. Uh, I, I think we like each other. I don't think either of us will feel good about knocking the other one out, but we're both competitors. We're both gonna give it a try. I don't, I don't like being on the bottom, and now i got to go against Grant, the pastor, the 53-year-old. You know, I could lose. I'm not going to sound unconfident and cocky. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, I got it, I'm going to win. I just know that I've had a great time here. I'm not ready to go, so I'll give it my best, and we'll see if this young pup can go and beat the old-timer. Vinnerlagets premie er en båtsafari. En flott mulighet til å se mer av det vakre Svalbard. Alright, here we go! Yeah, are you still okay? Yeah, this is great. That's good. Uh, this is an old uh, Russian mining uh, town. Okay. It was closed uh, in the late 60s, so everything is broken and now it's only the birds and, uh, and the poor folks just lives here. Svalbard is plagued by kullgruvedrift. Flere steder finnes det russiske gruvelandsbyer som denne, som brått ble forlatt i akkurat den tilstanden de var den dagen de ikke var mer kull igjen i gruven. Nå står de igjen som spøkelsesbyer og forfaller. It was really cool to be on the boat and you know, be able to see the island from the water and just, you know, see the mining settlements and stuff. It really gives a cool perspective to this whole, um, this whole island and how, you know, it's been settled in the past and sort of its history. Oh, I'm having a hard time trying to find the most beautiful adjective to describe this country because everywhere we go, it's insane. To say it's gorgeous, it's stupendous, it's awe-inspiring, it's just amazing. <laughs> it feels really good to do a winning thing. <laughs> I'm so happy. It was a great day. Det er nå tid for ukens individuelle konkurranse. Konkurransen i dag går ut på at Joseph og Grant skal kjøre hundesledet. De skal komme seg til dette skredområdet. Her skal de finne og grave opp en dukke. Dukken er merket med en radiosender, og de får begge to utdelt en radiosøker som fanger opp signalet dukken sender ut. De får også en søkestav til nærmere søk i snøen, og en spade til å grave ut skredofferet. Alt dette skal gjøres på kortest mulig tid, og klokken stopper ikke før dukken er helt oppe av snøen. Den som er raskest er fortsatt med i kampen om å møte sin norske familie. Men først må det introduseres for hundene. Så dette er Atla. Atla. Det er din lederdokk. Ok, jeg er kjærlig på deg, Atla. Så husk det navnet? Det er den som du må kjøre med det mest for å komme til det finnesene? Så du sier ja, Atla, eller Atla, ja? Hva vil du si først? Det er ikke noe. Det er ikke noe. Du kommer til å hjelpe meg å vinne denne reisen. Det er 
this is fun. I, I am excited about this to uh, do a dog sled race. This is the kind of contest I, I'm happy to be part of. So Joe, this is Birk, your leader dog. This is the kind of leader dog that you would uh, would wish for every time you go out uh, in nowhere, because he is a real track finder. Hey, we need to win. Yeah, buddy? So you tell all the other ones that we need to win. You push them along. I'm definitely not ready to go home yet. Uh, so I'm going to give them my all. I mean, these dogs got to carry a little bit of extra weight. But I'm sure they're up for the challenge. Right, Beck? Yep. You're ready to go already, aren't you? Det er på tide å starte konkurransen og finne ut hvem som må reise hjem og hvem som får være med videre i Alt for Norge. Første mann ut er Grant. Ready, set, go! All right, good guy. I was expecting to be kind of jerked and that it would be kind of hard to, to stay on the sled, but it, it actually was a lot smoother than I expected, and I enjoyed the, the dog sled ride immensely. Way to go, dogs. Go, Adler. On Greece, on Chris. We're dog sledding on Svalbard. We're going to rescue an avalanche victim and become heroes in Norway. So I just enjoyed the ride. I started singing because I, I didn't have to concentrate. When dogs get up in the morning, and they always say good day. They say bow, wow, 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 that is what they say. Or maybe you guys like this one better. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Yeah, that's it. We gotta go rescue somebody. Grant finner raskt stedet der dukken er begravet, men begynner å tvile på om han har funnet riktig sted når han ser hvor dypt han må grave. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess in my mind I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to dig a little ways down and find this thing. And what I hadn't thought about is how deep you have to dig. I... Sure, I felt something. Right. Oh, maybe not. No. There's nothing there. Yeah, I think it's spread right down there. My hands started to get cold. I got numb. I couldn't feel my hands, and this was, it was getting to be really hard. And I thought, oh, I don't know if I can do this. But then I had to think, you know, if there was a real body there, you wouldn't quit for anything. Oh, yeah. I found it, but now I gotta get it out. The legs are so very smooth for that All right, here we are. Safe. Time up. <sighs> That's work. That was a, a tough job, but are you breathing, buddy? Do we need a CPR? Huh? Whew. I feel real good about what I did. I, I think I gave as good an effort as I can. You know, Joseph can do better than that. He deserves to win. That's all I can say. Big. Okay. Big. Okay. That's the first thing that crossed my mind was, you know, Grant's 150 pounds and I'm 320, so that's like an extra person. So my strategy from then was to start kicking to help him, and the harder I kicked, the faster the sled went. So hopefully that's better than the old man can do.
think I got something. Let's see. Joe bruker lenger tid enn Grant på å finne det stedet han skal grave, men tar det igjen på rå muskelkraft når han setter i gang. Men nok en gang er Joe litt for sterk for sitt eget beste. I feel like my strength and size keep getting in the way of things here during this Norwegian adventure I'm having. I mean, I got things breaking in half because I guess I'm too strong. I gotta have these little tiny dogs carrying this big guy. Does anything seem to be going right for me here? I really hope I did better than Grant. I really do. I wish I would have pulled him out when I first saw him. If my best isn't good enough, then kudos to the pastor. He beat me fair and square. But I'm not ready to go home. I don't know. I'm looking around. I see this beautiful view. Norway is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. And I really would like to see more of it. And I would also like to see my family. So I hope my time is good enough. I really do. It was a blast. What, what, yeah, what, what was, was it? it? Well, we had to drive a dog sled team to an avalanche site and rescue someone. That what? is That's so, so cool! cool. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I really wish kind of that Grant would go because I see him as more of a tough competitor to me. And I don't need that. <laughs> I want to win. You know, based on what they had said when talking with him, I think Joe might have a hard time with this. I mean, he broke the shovel. I don't know how easy it's going to be to dig down a deep hole without a shovel. So I think Grant might have this one in the bag. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. Dog's sled ride was pretty smooth. I thought, didn't it go good for you? I think this is the first time I'm starting to sense that, yeah, there's a 50-50 chance, I figure, that I could be sent home. I, I understand that this might, might be the end of the road for me. You too, that was an interesting race. It sure was. It was fun to watch. It, it was fun to do, wasn't it? It was fun. I'm glad you were entertained. What happened? Uh, my strengths uh, are going against me, I guess. Grant, how did you think it went? I felt pretty good about it. I, I found uh, the dummy fairly quickly. It took longer to dig than I thought, so that's my concern, that maybe it took too long. but. But I have to say that both of you did very well. I mean, everyone here is very impressed by you. Thanks. Thanks. And uh, this was a very close race. Do you want the results? Yeah, sure. One of you did it in 15 minutes and 27 seconds. The other one did it in 13 minutes and 45 seconds. The winner is... Joseph. Ooh. Way to go, guys. <laughs> you did it. Thanks for saving Steve. Grant, that means that you have to go back to the States. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's been a great time. Uh. Good competition. Yeah. That was great. Thank you.
Hey guys. Yo, man, huh? it was so nice it to meet you. It's always been my pleasure. What a trip. Grant. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you have been an excellent contestant. Thank you. It's it, been so nice having you here. It's been quite an adventure. It's been a privilege to be here. That's thank good. you. Good luck to all of you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. I guess if I had a checklist of things I wanted to do in Norway, I, I think I've done most of them. I, I went to my family's area in, in Gudbrandsdalen, got above the Arctic Circle. I saw Oslo. I mean, I feel like that I was blessed to be able to do all those things. Now that I've been to Norway, I, I really would like to come back again, and I'd, I'd love to bring my family, and uh, hopefully I, I'll be able to find my Norwegian family when I come back. So it looks like half of the gay people are gone now. It's just the five of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yay us! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you! You can now proudly call yourselves true Norwegian adventurers! Cool. Woo! -hoo! And you're all one step closer getting to know your Norwegian family. Now I would usually honor you with the Norwegian Spirit Award, but not this week. And from now on, you have to fight on equal terms. Interesting. And now there's a special treat for you down in Longyearbyen. Today's dinner is seal. All right. Yes. Oh. Just stop. Oh, come on. Turn that frown upside down. It's not a frown, it's fear, but <laughs> people right. have not do that before. <laughs> this is fantastic. It tastes like a bad cut of beef, honestly. So that means you're not going to eat it? If you really enjoy it, I'd be happy to give you more of mine. And I'm OK with that. Okay. But I want that baby seal right here. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, what's really cool about this competition is as I've seen more and more people go home, it's given me a bit more and more confidence that I actually could be the last person standing. And so, yeah, I think that I could be the last person standing by the time this is done. The more competitive we all get, I think it will uh, get interesting. It'll be fun. So uh, I'm a little anxious to see uh, what uh, we got ahead of ourselves. Neste uke skal amerikanerne til Lofoten og vise at de er ekte fiskere. Hey! I can't wait! I got a fish! It's huge! Oh, that was so cool. They were there for us, and that was amazing. I'll never forget that. The first one to go on to the finals of Alt for Norge is... Lurer du på hvordan det har gått med Grant? Alle deltakerne får utlevert informasjon om sin norske slekt. Reaksjoner og intervjuer får du på TV Norge enda. Monster.